Welcome aboard. My name is Dennis Hassel, and I am your captain. You can tell by my beard that I have been at sea a long, long time. Yes, I have been shipwrecked, but I survived in a lifeboat. In three, two, one, go. This lifeboat is like a treehouse. A safe place, an imaginative place, a fun place. It's a place where you and your friends can get away from the ordinary and play games, tell stories, and enjoy each other. Your first mate has your assignments. Keep calm and carry on. You must quickly scrounge things from your home or office that can help your crew be found and rescued and collect things to help you survive until you are rescued. I brought a big knife for like, if there's like wild animals or like a person I don't like. First of all, I have a knife for like getting fish, life jackets, an emergency blanket. By the time I got into the garage and back, most of my time was gone, so. <laughs> I ran like a maniac to the garage. I'm laughing maniacally while I'm doing it. <laughs> a little mirror to flash search helicopter or something. You can oh. use the mirror to signal it. I grabbed a crutch. Uh, I don't really know why. We could also attach a knife to it and like javelin fish. Oh, and maybe we could wrap it with something and make a, a paddle. Some hooks and some line oh. and stuff. And then duct tape, because duct tape's always good. Oh, and then I have like stuff to start a fire and a whistle. You have 60 seconds to find the shoe and find the story. So this is a uh, Puma Ferrari shoe. It was, um, I got it when I was working at, funny enough, my manager almost got sent to jail after uh, working at that, for <laughs> fraud, actually. When the lockdown started, I knew that if I didn't do something, I was going to turn into um, a Pillsbury dough girl. So I got an app on my phone and I started running. And I liked it so much that I kept on going. And now I'm running 10K. And I'm actually thinking of maybe going for a marathon. Now, I'm the sort of kid that when I was in gym class, I would like be at the end of the line huffing and puffing. And I never you know, imagined that I could run anything further than 400 meters. <laughs> I didn't want to put on my boots. So I put on my waterproof socks and then I tied this uh, <laughs> grocery bag around uh, my socks. And I was walking to the bathroom, and the one thing I didn't count on was the hill of ice that I needed to get down to go to the bathroom. So I skied on these all the way down the hill, and they got all teared up. And then I also didn't count that I needed to climb back up the hill of ice, and it took me like 20 minutes. My wife was convinced that this was a foolish purchase and a huge mistake. But what she didn't count on was that my daughter loves Frozen, and it does this. <laughs> so she got over the weird thing between her toes because this would happen every time she walked and it had frozen on it. So it worked out. Dad did know what he was doing. You have to go out there and get the job, whatever it takes. I like to use teenagers for this because it requires you to lie your face off and teenagers prove to be exceptionally gifted in this. Your job today is to apply for the position of giraffe manager. I used to travel very often with my family up to the savannah. And at night when my parents would sleep, I would like sneak out and just like embrace the wild and hang out with my animal friends. And some of which were giraffes. So I know a lot about them. I spent a year living with a herd of giraffes and I really bonded with them. And I know a lot about giraffes from that amazing experience. Is that true? Yes. I did this uh, play um, when I was younger and I played a giraffe. And so I know like all the characteristics of a giraffe. So I think I can like connect with them on a different level. One weakness is um, I'm scared of giraffes. 
I need to purchase a house in Collingwood. Purchasing a house in Collingwood. Have you seen how little houses there are to purchase in Collingwood right now? Everything's being off the market within a week or two. Deanne, the homes in Collingwood are gorgeous. There's these beautiful century homes perched up on the top of little hills overlooking the water and the fall. The leaves are so colorful. There's fresh apples. Five, four, three, two, one.